In Kentucky, not so much. And hopefully have a heart attack. box over there. I'm going to run electric across here and this is going to go out to the first edition bedroom I made. Not the guest room but the first edition bedroom is going out there. And I'm going to try to drill through the wall and hopefully it comes out under the deck, the old deck under the bedroom now, the first bedroom edition. So I can add an outlet on the outside wall. I should have done this before but I didn't and I'm going to put a new outlet in that first bedroom. Then we're going to run some electric for the new guest room we're working on. So this is my hot wire here coming through from a floodlight that was inside over here on the soffit. Now it's inside the, the new guest room. This is going to be a junction box. I'm going to put a blank on it, run the wire down here. But this outlet here, <clears throat> continue down from there, run out this hole, and down through the floor. Gonna run underneath, come up to this hole I'm drilling. up here with the next junction box right from there. Well, actually there'll be an outlet right there for the air conditioner that's going to be here. All right. Okay in our first edition we put in the regular just a bedroom just a regular bedroom for our family put air conditioner in and I didn't think through good enough and I put no outlet for it. So I'm doing something that's not kosher not safe. I've been running an extension cord over to the outlet that is in the room. It's too far away to run in the air conditioner. I originally thought we would be okay without air conditioner, but in Kentucky, not so much. So I'm going to get rid of this, put an outlet right in there. All right, so we've got to cut the hole inside the, the already bedroom addition we have. Got to mark it, cut that hole. Okay. that out. Razor knife. There we go. Now, I'm gonna pop the tab out. Yeah, I'll get a hammer and a screwdriver. I pop the tab in right there to get the wire in. I'll get the wire coming out here, then I'll pop it in here, and then I'll put it in, push these up, and tighten it. I have a junction box. It had 220 in it. It used to be for wall heaters. I'm gonna turn that into a 110. Don't try this at home. But anyway, I'm no electrician, but I've talked to electrician friends and I've done this before and I'm gonna try to be careful. Turning this into a 110. And over here, 
I believe one of these was the heater. <laughs> um, let me find it. Living room heater. Right there it says living room electric heat. And that one's off. I'm going to test it, see if it's off, then turn it on, see if it comes back on. To make sure I'm dealing with the right circuit, then I'm going to take out this double pole breaker, put in a single pole breaker, and move some wires and make it a 110. So we're try to use one hand to measure this stuff so you don't get shocked and hopefully have a heart attack. If you use two hands, it could go across your heart if it's electric. So it's 0.5 half a volt can you see that half a volt and that's basically the same as nothing it's not even one volt so now i'm going to go turn it on awesome. never stick your finger in there i need to get some blanks to put in there and this is the living room heat i'm going to flip it back on should be that one out there and check it now Get them on there. It's not working. Let's see. There, and there. Yeah, just pause. Hey, we're feeding it through. All right. Got it. All right. We're ready to run that outlet on this side. We'll get the breaker side in a little bit. have no power on them yet so that wire just sitting downstairs in the basement just enough to curl it around that screw. If you want to know how to do this safely, I suggest you watch some electricians who show you how to do things on YouTube. And I usually watch more than one. I usually watch three if I'm going to do something dangerous like this because I'm not an electrician. I suggest you watch them. People that are actually electricians who are doing it for a living or find a friend to give you some advice or do it for you. If you can afford it, hire someone to do it. I can't, so I don't. I do it myself. All right, now got them stripped. Got the outlet. You can push them in the back. This is a nice one. You can push it in the back and tighten them up. You don't have to curl it around the screw. That's nice. Didn't realize I'd bought the nicer ones. First, I gotta get through here. Gotta pop a hole in this. From the bottom, it doesn't matter what's top or bottom. All right, I'm gonna push that through. Reminding myself, feel a little nervous move, moving around a bare wire, but it's not connected in the basement yet to a breaker. It's just waiting to be connected. Okay, push that through. There we go. Pull through a little bit. Now I can push this in. I should have that down there. Push that in. Outlet. I 
get it back in there. I'm not gonna mess it up. That is a lot of jerking around to do on this thing. Get it to go in. Push that down. It's binding me up inside there. There we go. There. Now that fire's not fighting me. Let me go ahead and tighten that up. It's moving around on me. Just tighten up those screws that makes those tabs go up and holds it in place. Supposedly. <laughs> that tab should come up. inch or five eighth inch drywall. All right, the box for remodeling was getting annoying, so I'm done with it. I'm just screwing in a stud over here. Like I said, I'm not an electrician. Don't know how to do these. They're not as easy as I thought they were to get those to go in. All right, now, got that in. Let's get back to looking on this. Now this was the easier kind where you can just push it in the back and it tightens up. Now you don't want those ones they call stab that just stick in. The, all the electricians tell me they come loose with time, but this one's actually clamping down on it. So, uh, let's see. So the black goes to the brass. I like to remind myself black and gold look nice together. So, that reminds me where to put it. I'm tighten it down super tight. As tight as I get it with my hands. Then the, let's see, there's no spot to do that with the ground, so I've got to put a little curl EQ on the ground. I need on those pliers just enough to get it around that ground screw and tighten that ground screw on. That's backwards. When you tighten your screw on, you want it to be not pushing this off as it's tightening. You gotta turn it a certain way. Can you see? Over here, you can see good. What I'm talking about. You gotta make sure this is um, on, so as I'm tightening, it's pulling that loop onto it, not pushing it off. Now as I'm tightening, it's gonna pull that loop tighter on instead of pulling it off. All right. And like I said, you can watch other videos if you want to learn how to do this better. Remember, I'm doing this with not even connected to the breaker. Try to tighten that as tight as I can. And this one just goes back here and I tighten it up as tight as I can. Getting close to having this in done. Tighten it as tight as I can. Double check that one. Maybe that got a little loose. Don't want loose stuff. You get arcing and fires and outlets that don't work and all that good stuff. Bad stuff. Right, shove this back in there. Push it 
back down, so I don't need all that wire. All right. Now, push it back in. Screwing this in. We're really close. We'll come back later. Have to patch up some of this blue paint. Not what I wanted to do. It'll have to be done. Okay. Maybe I should have bought the outlet with a little more space behind it. <laughs> All right. There we go. Attaching this to the box. Okay, got it in. It's nice and secure and snug. That hole, we're not going to see it because put a nice plate on it. And voila, it's beautiful. One thing I gotta do later is just touch up some paint right here and clean up some dust. All right, that's uh, outlets installed. Now I gotta do the other end, put the breaker in, and I'll come back and test it, see if it works. Okay, I'm back in the basement, and this one I was working on, that wire, who knows where it's coming from. I thought it was marked electric heat, and over in the breakers, there's electric heat for the living room not the wire it's supposed to be. So I don't know where it's going. So I'm just gonna have to run the wire to the outlet for the new bedroom over to a different spot. I have an outlet in there I'm not using in this other little room in the basement. And I'm just gonna steal that outlet's power, close it up and just run it over here. So I'm gonna put a junction box in here for this guy. Installed. <laughs> I'll get some some stuff to something to hold that up in a little while. It's not dragging down where it's gonna get caught on stuff, so it's safe to have it up in this cavity. I think that's a little rusty. Is what I'm saying. Out black, white, and brown. I gotta run this new wire. See if you see it coming through. Okay. I think that's a straight hole right through. Yep, I see it. Okay. drilled from before. I'm well, just using that. Run this over here. Put it through this hole that I broke out earlier in the back of this box. And voila. Found some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Automatic lights went off. <laughs> I have automatic lights in the basement to try to save money. Kids tend to leave the basement light on when they're not in here. Little ones running light bulbs for nothing. So I went ahead and put a bunch of lights. 
better on motion sensors. to have these put on. Just kind of tie these together basically. It's nothing tough. None of these are connected to any power yet, so I'm gonna worry about it. When I go connect it on the other end, I am going to turn off the breaker that goes to the outlet. And I'll check it with the meter to make sure that it is off. I don't like the shot. I don't fancy it at all. It's not fun. That plastic insulation will come off there. Yeah. Do some wire nuts, connect these, and I'll, I like to throw a little tape on it. Black to black, all that good stuff. Yellow to yellow. It's not that complicated. At least it doesn't seem like it to me. But again, I'm probably making a ton of mistakes, so do at your own risk. I'm not an electrician. Turn it the other way. I twist it on, that'll untwist it when I put the wire nut on it. I'll go the other way. Mm, not the best at this. As you can tell, probably electricians are cringing or laughing at me. I don't know which. Might not be necessary to twist these. It doesn't go good in a minute here. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna twist it because I don't have the patience for it. So, wire nut, we do. The wire nut work together. And I'll wrap some electrical tape around that so it doesn't pull apart. I do the wire nuts as tight as I can possibly get them to go. as I can get them and try to pull them loose. That seems good. Ah, light went up again. You won't be watching this by then if this takes me 10 minutes to do. It's pretty sad. How slow I am at this. Alright, it's getting there. A few more twists. Very tight. Let's see if I can. Oh, that one didn't go, so did my pull test and it didn't pass. Pull that one right out. Gotta get them kinda even. You can see that there. I want the ends kinda even. You're not just connecting on one wire. And you get a real good connection there. That's hard to do, especially over your head. Alright, try to pull it out. Good connection. Alright, one more. Got the ground. And I'm done on this side. I'll go test it before I push it up in here.
right up there is where it came through the wall underneath the basement to the other room in the basement, the back room where the electric is. And that's the outlet I'm going to steal it from. Take its power, make it a blank, use that for a junction box. Okay, just to double check, this one is off. That's the one I'm going to be using. I am going to buy some blanks and cover these up. If you stick your finger in there, it'll probably kill you. But that's the one I'm working on. It's off. I am going to double check it down there with the voltage meter. Alright, the voltage meter is on. This should be nothing. Actually, I'm going to turn it on. Do it that way. Turn it on. And I'm going to check it while it's on. It should have 120, then turn it off, see if it turns it off. It's hard to do, but try to do it in one hand. But if you get shocked, it only shocks one hand and not goes across your heart. 124, 125 volts. I hope you can see that. Now I'm going to turn it off. Make sure that is the right breaker. Pretty sure it is. Put it back on. 0.4, 0 0.2, less than a volt. I'm good. Okay, that's dead. All right, I've got that one wired up, which is gonna be my junction box. This one goes over to the breaker box. I'm gonna flip the breaker now and go up to the room and check it out. I'll use the meter on it to see what it does. All right, got 125 volts. See the where the point is, 125 point something. It's in there, outlet's good. All right, finally. It was a little annoying after uh, that one wire wouldn't work. I couldn't figure out where it went. It wasn't the wire I thought. So I bypassed it and we're good. Now, my air conditioner will have its own outlet instead of using an extension cord, which is not safe. All right, moving on to the new addition, uh, the new guest bedroom. Moving on to that electric. All right, got it. Wire nutted, taped off, pushed back in the junction box. Ready to close that one up. I'm gonna come back and support this wire. And then we'll be good. Now I'm moving on to the next project. All right, I'm back out in the new guest room addition. I'm gonna get the electric running here. So I've got the one hot that comes up here. The white is the hot coming from, used to be a floodlight. I'm gonna run it over here. And I'm running it down. That's just going to be a junction box. Running it down to the outlet here. Going to connect inside there and run down these holes I drilled underneath. Go over here. Go into that hole. Come underneath. Come up and put the outlet box right about there. I think I'm going to start off. Bye. Double checking that this is off. It's on a switch in the house, which I have to get rid of eventually and not have it on a switch. But for now, I'll just leave the switch on. Let's double check it. Not a fan. Bolts. See this one's got to the ground, and I'm trying to do it with one hand on the probes. These two together. Thirteen bolts. Huh? Anyway, I'll be careful. It's about 120 volts. Should be okay. Strip this side. Okay. 
this wire, I had extra wire sitting around, has an extra red that I don't need. It was four wire, three wire with the ground, which I don't need. I don't need that red one. Just shove it out of the way. It the thing. I can be connected on either end. Strip these in a little bit. my fingers. It's a little scary when anything jumps when I'm doing electric. Hey, you doing electric? I'm a carpenter, not an electrician. Seems to be good. Any crackling or snapping sounds <laughs> coming out of this makes me nervous, makes me want to jump. All right, plastic squeaking a little bit. So, again, the voltage meter is super nice. I um, didn't have one for years and just got shocked doing this kind of stuff. And that gets really old. It's worth those 60 bucks, whatever it is, 80 bucks now, I'm not sure which. Totally worth it. All right, got those wired. That's going to come down to here. I'm going to close this up after I get it all connected and make sure it's working. All right, I've got the wire run up through the floor into these holes. I have enough to run up here a little bit. Maybe that I don't want to be short. I'm ah, just kidding. Oh man, it fell on me. I have no extra, there's no power to it right now, so no threat of that. Got to bring it back under the floor again. All right, got the wire back up from the floor again. Slipped right through. Put a little twist in it there so it doesn't move. Actually, it's got to go through this hole here. And up here. I'll strip it and go worry about falling through again.
enough air to make a good connection, but you don't want a bunch of the bare wire laying around inside the box. Now, this one is going to have an outlet on it. That didn't work. <laughs> All right. All right, I did get that one. I twisted them together first. Let's see how that goes with the rest of them. Not super confident, that's gonna be easy. As I can. I'm to try to pull that out. Pull that one out. Pull that one out. That's going good so far. I like it. One more, and I can be done with this outlet here. Moving on to the outlet on the other side of the room that goes underneath the floor. doesn't want to seem to come up there at the top, huh? Let's see if it's still on. Okay, that seems to stay together. 
Right, now to the other side. Last outlet. That one's going to be over here. And a dark section. Got the wire sticking through there. Gonna put the outfit up. Let's see. Alright, I want this outlet up a little bit. One sticking out about a half inch for the drywall. I'm actually gonna measure it. Maybe put a tiny mark on it. Might help if I could see. It's annoying to have to have reading glasses. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Not this. Well, it probably has marks on it for depth. I'm just going to mark it so I can see. A little pin mark. I don't like that. She's a little loose. I'm going to add a drywall screw in there sideways. There we go. Now I feel better about it. Now let's get this thing stripped. Pay attention to the sounds around me. You don't hear much traffic. That's because we live in the country. Love it. I grew up in South Florida. It was super crowded. There was pretty much never any peace as far as traffic, noise, stuff like that. Ambulances, police cars going all the time. Around here, I hear barking dogs, falcons, birds, geese. 
much more peaceful. Trying to curl these over a little bit. I don't want to go back to the suburbs for real. Throw it out in the country. That didn't work out, did it? This is my hook. I'm going to make it a little bigger hook, a little smaller, and a little tighter on the hook. Oh my god. Put my hook around that green brown screw. Anyway, but I think that's the way you're supposed to do it. So why not do it? Something plugged in, there's one way to test it. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna do my voltage meter. This one should have power because the power went over there. This one came off here. them in, put the covers on them, and um, actually I'll put the covers on them after I do the drywall. Let's let the covers sit here. After you put the drywall, then you put the cover on. So I'm just going to plug these back in. We're all good. Got to tape these up. Last measure before I push that back in. I forgot. Ooh, that's hot. Be careful. <laughs> Done that before. It's no fun. Oh, I think I'm going to go shut that off. All right, got a little crazy in uh, <laughs> starting to mess with it before I turn the power off to the outlet. Bad idea. Now I'll take this up so it holds together. Then, let's keep the cap on. Now, matter of 
pushing it back in, pushing it back, going over there, going down there, and up there. Push it all back in. Easier said than done. Those wires are pretty thick, pretty tough. Pretty annoying, I have to say. Okay, got that close. Get my screws in. So I'll wait to put the cover on until the drywall's on. Right here, I'm actually not doing drywall. This is going to be a painted white for shabby chic look, I call it. Just one coat of primer, and it just brightens it up because this is old wood that used to be the exterior. Now it's inside wall, just want it to look brighter, and also just gives it like a nice look. One coating, you still see some of the color differences and staining. And then this is going to be across here, a uh, cedar, and that'll be cedar right around the door. And that'll be kind of like a little highlight spot. Then the other walls, if you look around the other walls from there, are going to get drywall. At least that's the plan. I'm planning on putting a texture on it. You see in some old homes do plaster with texture and things like that. Or ceilings. A lot of older houses had ceilings with a lot of texture. I'm going to do that on the ceiling and the wall in here. Just because I think it would be cool looking. So subscribe, like, share, please tell your friends. Make sure you subscribe too. Tell your friends about this. Share it on social media and whatever you, what they call it social. Better be in person to be better. But anyway, thanks for watching and uh, come back and see more stuff. I'm gonna finish this edition here. Gonna be doing a whole lot of other things besides that. Look at my page and see the variety of different videos. You'll see something you like. Thanks.